This is the speed governor of the Stuart Turner steam engine. I've had the bob weights in that casting. Uh, somebody cleaned them by vapor blasting them, so they've come up absolutely like new. All this spins round, and then those bob weights are thrown out. It pushes that forward against the spring, which works a linkage, which closes the steam off. This thrust bearing here is completely shot. I need to take it off. I need to make a new one. It's actually, it looks like it's been riveted over somehow to, to hold it on. This is cast iron. I bought a bit of me and eight or cast iron bar to make a new one. But the first thing I'm going to do is take that off there and so I can get some sizes so I can get a new bearing. There's actually numbers on that one, but it's. Uh, let me get them back a little bit, that one. Made in England, this is, anyway, that's a bit of a novelty these days. Right, so I'll put the 3 jaw chuck on the lathe and we'll machine that off and see if the bearing comes off. Get some sizes of it and then go about making one of those. That's definitely machine light cast iron right so basically it's just about off bastard Holes actually with flats on them. That's a mess that and that washer there will no doubt come off as well. So I need a thrust washer of a similar dimension to this so that I can make up whatever I need. Absolutely shot at that, nothing left of it. So that in fact was just gently peeled over. All the damage on here was done by me getting it apart. Oh, it didn't damage anything that we can't. Replace, I can replace this. If I damage the crankshaft, that would have been a different story. This brass part with the balls in, the balls go in, that one goes in from this side, and that one goes in from that side. There's a little more, so they'll be ripped over. If I can get some ball bearings the right size, I could put new balls into there. And that would just make two new thrust washers out of something decent. And that would probably go back together. I'll try and find a decent ball and make it and see what size they are. 3 sixteenths is probably because you can buy ball bearings very easily. It'll be nice to, to repair this. There's little pop marks on there where the balls have been put in and then popped over. I'll select a good ball, which is probably that one there, the good one. Take it out and then measure it. Right, we've got a, a one there, decent one. And that's the thou under quarter. So that, that's 250 thou there, which is a quarter inch. Thou and a half under quarter. So they're quarter inch balls. So I'll make just about order 
some quarter inch balls make some new thrust washers right this piece of bar looks like a, a scabby piece of bar but it is really good quality steel we'll get two thrust washers out of that Quarter holes what we need, and we can skim the outside, put a new tip in, get a good finish there, and then part two of them off. And that's gonna much better repair it than it is replacing it, I think, anyway. thought of that so we'll put a 20 thou cut on size isn't that critical because I can make the, the part it fits onto and make that to fit this ball. Just about there, we'll give it a spring cut at that. finish on there Right, part and two now, so I can part two of these off. Just gonna take that little rag out the inside of there.
this is decent material, it's not run of the mill shite. It takes a long time, it takes a long time. Simple as that. Looks ready in anticipation. That's actually a pretty good finish on there. Such a simple tool and it just works so well. Just about dead on size now. Just the latest little whisper. Absolutely spot on. Very happy with that. Finishing that one off, and then that's just about done for tonight. I think. We want the EB and all that some quarter inch balls.